Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. In today's video, I am super duper stoked to bring to you part two of my video wrapper tool demonstration and tutorial. And in this video, I am going to share with you some super cool design hacks that are going to help you make your video wrapper tool projects just look super awesome branded to you and they're going to pop out on your timeline i promise as a matter of fact let me show you an example of what i created and i am going to show you exactly how you can create something like this in less than literally like five minutes okay? so i just created this really cool video that will be awesome when you put it on your facebook timeline or your instagram stories because it will pop out so in today's video i am going to show you my secret design hack that will show you how to create videos like this that pop on your Facebook timeline or on your Instagram stories using Builderos tool plus one little secret tool that I use basically to create all my graphics online. So if you want to learn how to take your video wrapper videos to the next level using the Builderall tools and my secret design hack, then keep on watching. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, again, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly, truly appreciate that. So if you didn't watch the video of part one uh, on how to use the new Builderall Video Wrapper tool plus my demonstration of the tool, I will have that linked right for you in the description box right below. In this video, I want to show you how to use another tool that I use outside of Builderall to really take your video wrapper project to the next level. So as I mentioned in my previous video, the Builderall wrapper tool is basically a very basic, simple software. It only has like three steps. There are no extra backgrounds at the moment. I don't know that they're not going to do that in the future, but right, right now they have just a very simple software, right? But if you're anything like me, you like to take things to the next level. You want your videos to pop on the timeline. So this is why I created my little design hack that I'm going to share with you right now so that your videos can also stand out on the timeline. Now they don't all have to be fancy schmancy like this. Okay. I've seen some really cool videos that are just very simple. They just grab your attention. They have a bold headline on the top and at the bottom of the frame right here. Um, so you could do that. And I will show you some examples of that as I do a few videos in this series, because I really want to, I really want Want you to see the potential that this tool has to help you really start getting more attention on your videos and these videos ultimately they help you drive traffic to your offers to your you know lead capture pages to a business opportunity to a webinar all that cool stuff so make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to my videos because i am going to create different videos give you different ideas for different industries that could definitely use this tool to help you drive traffic to your offers. So let me go ahead and show you how I created this right now. And I am going to open up my tool. And a lot of you have probably heard of it. Maybe you haven't, but the tool that I use to create these additional graphics is called Canva. Now I want to share with you a little hack that um, you can use right now to design really cool graphics for your videos just like I did. So let me go ahead and open up my Canva account. Okay, so here we are inside of Canva and Canva just recently changed their interface. So it may look a little different if you have used this tool before but haven't logged in in a while. So just want to let you know that they kind of changed their interface, especially the home page got a really big face lift. Um, and then what I want to share with you ahead of time is that in order to do this design hack, you're going to need to have Canva for work. Now, I know that there's other tools out there that are free that you could use to create these graphics. But personally, I'm a creature of habit. So I, you know, I just stay with the tools that I'm familiar with that I like to use. Um, and I've been using Canva for over three years now. And I use Canva for work. And Canva for work is only $12.99 a month, not sponsored. Okay, 
Canva did not pay me to say that. <laughs> I am not an affiliate because they don't even have an affiliate program. But if you are somebody who is really, um, you know, into creating your graphics, thumbnails, things like that, uh, products, your product creator, uh, this is definitely a tool that you want to add into your arsenal so that you can make your graphics, your videos, and things like that really stand out, okay? So what we want to do is because the Builderall wrapper tool, it defaults to a thousand by a thousand pixels. Okay. What I want to do is I want to go here and I want to go to the social media template. Okay. The social media template is 800 by 800, which is perfect because it will, uh, just stretching it just a wee little bit will be able to fit it so that it overlays on top of our video wrapper project. So let's go ahead and click on social media. Okay, and now you'll see that they have all kinds of different templates, okay? And you can choose whichever one that you like. Remember, your video is going to be behind here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose this one, okay? And I am going to go ahead and I am going to change this into my color palette because uh, one of the things that I do with this video wrapper tools is I want to make sure that my brand is cohesive all across the web. Whether you are following me on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or my blog, I want everything to be cohesive. It is a cohesive brand, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna come up here and I'm gonna change these colors, keeping in mind that I'm going to use this as my background on my video. So I'm going to choose some contrasting colors as well to make sure that nothing disappears into the background. So make sure that you're conscientious of that as you choose the colors. If you're going to be using a background color for your video wrapper, make Make sure that when you choose the colors here that you don't choose one that is going to make the color disappear okay now if you are stuck with the branding uh, and getting a color palette together I have a little course it's less than 30 bucks it's called color branding for beginners and I kind of walk you through the process of picking your own color palette and uh, getting it all set up in Canva uh, saving your color palette all that good stuff and then how to start creating different graphics for like your Facebook profile, uh, little sidebar banners, your Twitter profile, your YouTube channel, etc. So that everything is cohesive and branded all across the board, uh, you know, uniformly. Okay, okay, so here we go. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to change out this color here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this color. And then I'll go over here and I will also use this color, which I'm kind of borrowing from my brother. My brother is uh, Asheville Dog Academy. Ha! So I'm going to borrow from his because I know that I am going to have, um, you know, uh, this color in the background and I don't want these little blue bubbles to disappear. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit. Okay. Because my video is going to be right in here and this will be the border. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to delete the group. And then what I want to do is when I open up my video wrapper tool, I want there to be already like cool attention grabbing text. Now you can add text, but I'm going to include it inside of my graphic. That way uh, it's just one less step I have to do. And since you can change your fonts and really get your brand font together using Canva, I might as well just do it right here in Canva. Okay. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on here and I'm going to add a heading and I'm just going to say something like, you know, um, I'm going to copy exactly what I did in my sample video. Uh, and what I did was I put here, avoid this newbie mistake, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stretch this out. And, um, remember my background is going to be that dark teal. So I want to make sure that my font contrasts. So I am going to choose a contrasting font. So I'm going to go ahead and choose white and I'm going to change the font. I want it to stand out. So let me go ahead and check out a cool font. I will probably, let me see. Um, I am going to go ahead and use this font right up here. Let's see, where was it? Uh, I'll go ahead and use this or this. Okay. I'll just use that for now. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this 
because I am going to take advantage of this real estate down here and I'm going to put my website. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put rise marketing and design.com. Now, if you cannot see what you're doing because uh, you've put it on white, just simply temporarily just put it in another color so you can see what you're doing. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and put this back on white. All right. Okay, so then I'm going to put like a little subheadline over here. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a subheading. And I'm going to put here, make cool videos like this without paying more. Okay, so I'm also going to make this white. So let me go ahead and make that white. And guess what? I'm going to copy this again. And I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to say something like, download my free report which I don't have a report there but I just want to put that I'm just giving you a sample so let me just go ahead and make sure everything looks good I'm gonna make that a capital M okay all right cool now the reason that you need to have canva for work is because the only way that you can download a transparent background okay the only way you can do a transparent background, because this has to be transparent, remember, because if you download this, this is going to be a big white block and you're not going to be able to see anything. So you need to be able to make it transparent so that when it does download, it will be clear and it will be layered over the video wrapper project and you will have your video in the middle. Okay. And you can only have transparent backgrounds with Canva for work. Now, if you have another tool that you can use, like, I don't know if uh, PicMonkey has the free PNGs downloads. I don't know. I don't use that tool, but you know, uh, if there is another free way, I'm, I'm sure you can find it. Uh, but Hey, for 1299, you know, I, I love Canva because it keeps me organized in all my graphics and stuff like that so uh, so just putting that out there okay so let me go ahead and download this now all right and then what we're going to do is we are going to open up the video wrapper tool and we're going to create a cool little video wrapper project all right so now here we are in our builder all back office and what you want to do is you want to go down to the app section and you want to go ahead and get the video wrapper all right so I already started to create this, so I am going to go ahead and add another project. I'm going to call it Canva Design Hack 2. Canva Design Hack 2. Whoopsie. Okie doke. So here we go. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the pencil so that you can edit it. And see, we're already at a thousand by a thousand. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and put my brand color. So if you want to find your branding colors inside of Canva, you need to go to your brand palette. And again, you need Canva for work to put your brand palette together. So the way you do that is you go to home and you go to your brand kit. Okay. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to use this. I'm going to copy this and this will be my brand kit. Now you can create brand kits. I believe with the free version, you can create one, but, um, yeah, I have, uh, lots and lots of brand palettes here because I'm always tinkering with different projects. So, um, I have several of them. So that, that's why, you know, like I said, I recommend Canva for work again, hashtag not sponsored. I don't even make a dime telling you this. So let me go ahead and go back to my video wrapper. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and put my brand color here. Okay, so now I've laid out the foundation for my video. Now, you got to make sure that you already have a little video snippet put together. So you could record something depending on what you're promoting. Like I said, maybe if you're download, maybe if you're giving away like an ebook for, you know, recipes, you know, you could do like a little one minute little video showing you making the recipe and then telling people, Hey, go check out the full details uh, by downloading my ebook. Um, or you can, you know, promote a webinar, whatever it does. It depends on what you're doing, but I would just make the video no more than two minutes because it'll take longer to encode and, and people are on the timeline. They, they want something quick. So basically the idea of these videos is just, you know, just to arouse curiosity, to spark attention and just to start driving traffic to your offers, your website, etc. Okay. So I already have a little video prepared, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop where I have my video, um, here we go, my video intro. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. 
and I'll adjust this once I bring in my um, my video wrapper graphic from Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and go to objects and I'm going, going to add the image. So I'm going to go to my downloads real quick and here it is. And here, here it is. Okay. So now since it's 800 by 800 and my builder all wrapper is at a thousand, all I have to do is stretch this out and it fits perfectly. Okay. So then all you have to do is adjust it. Make sure that it's in there and, and that is it. And it looks so, so nice. So, you know, you can do all kinds of cool things. Like if you are like a, oh, let's just say um, a, a nutritionist or if you are someone into healthy recipes, I mean, you can do some really cool things, which I will show you. I'm going to show you uh, some more little graphic templates that you can create. Okay. So let me go ahead and save this project. And now I'm going to encode the video. So now that it's encoded, I love how it overlaps here. Let me go ahead and download it. All right. And this is our final product. How cool is that? So that is it, guys and gals. So all you have to do is create the graphic in social media. And what I like about this is because there are video wrapper tools out there that, yeah, they're like $77. And yeah, they have tons of backgrounds and tons of graphic and tons of images. But let's be honest, are you really, really going to use them if they're for personal use? Now, maybe if you are designing this for a client, Maybe, maybe you'll need all those backgrounds. For me personally, I just stay within my brand palette. I want to make sure that things are just branded to me. And so I don't need all these fancy backgrounds. I don't need all that stuff. I just want stuff that will represent my brand. So I'm probably going to do maybe no more than three to five variations. So for that, I can just bring in the graphics in from Canva. So if you like this hack, if you learned something from this video, please go ahead and like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you also hit the notification bell so that you are alerted when I upload a new video to my YouTube channel. And if you want to activate a seven day free trial of Builderall and check out these tools yourself, you will get access to the video wrapper tool even on your seven day free trial, go ahead and click on the link right below this video and you can get a seven day free trial. And if you upgrade to a business plan, you will also get access to all my training and bonuses that I have available to my team, plus exclusive templates and video trainings that I do not upload to YouTube that are only reserved for my team. So if you want to go ahead and activate a seven day free trial and be a partner of Team Rise when you activate a business plan, then go ahead and click on the links right below this video. Now make sure to stay tuned to another video because I am just loving this video wrapper tool and I am loving sharing with you guys and gals how to use this tool to start driving more traffic to all your stuff. And I am going to do a couple other different templates depending on different industries. I really want you to get really creative. So we're going to kind of do this design hack series where I'm going to teach you how to create some cool graphics in Canva that you can overlay onto your builder up video wrapper. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions about this video, about builder all's tools or about using Canva, go ahead and leave them in the comment section right below. So this is been Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.